This morning I have read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 13 and 14. So I would like to share some important things from these two chapters with you this morning. From chapter number 13, love is indispensable. We're going to talk love is indispensable. In this chapter, Paul was discussing about love, what love is, how important it is in our daily lives, and how we can apply this love to build the kingdom of God. So Paul was explaining about how important love is in a person's life. You may have many gifts, but if you don't have love, there, they are somewhat meaningless. You may have wonderful gifts, you help the people and you bring joy to them, but without love, your works will be useless. In verse 7, 4 to 7, Paul was wrote about the characteristics of love. He explained that love is kind and patient, love is per love is patient. A person whom he lives with love does not become envious and does not boast about anything and no prideful. Love is slow to anger and does not rejoice in any evil things. They are always look for the truth and keep no record of wrong. And verse 7 says, in King James Version, verse 7 says, Bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Therefore, love is the key to everything because where there is a love, there will be no failure. Paul said nobody can use their spiritual gift without knowing the love. Love is superior to all gifts because love is above everything out of three. Fed, hope, love. This three, but the greatest of this is love. That's why love is greater than all. Without love, we are nothing. Therefore, their fellow brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we must learn how important it is in our daily lives and how we can apply this love to build the kingdom of God. So this is from chapter 14 at 13. It's very important to useful to apply it in our daily lives. So now let's let's move on to chapter 14. Chapter 14. In the legibility, chapter 14 is talking about the greatest gift intelligibility in worship or the greatest gifts any title we can use for this chapter 14 so in this chapter apostle paul was said different gifts being bestowed among believers within the church several inconsistencies resulted from the excesses of these gifts Paul was explaining the different gifts of the prophecy and gift of speaking in tongue. He was clearly expounding that no gift was of any value if it could not be understood by listening. Anyone who speaks in tongue, tongue must be interpreted comprehensively for the in listeners to understand the instruction behind the message. Therefore, Paul asserted that all gifts must be channeled toward enriching the spiritual aptitude of believers. Paul affirmed that this counsel comes from the Lord and that all who are spiritually gifted should realize that Paul conclude by echoing the needs of organization in exercising all gifts in their spreading the gospel. So guys, these are the things from these two chapters which is I'm 
explaining to you in a very very simple ways so hope that everyone may understand thank you for watching this video if you are watching this video please click the subscribe button on the screen below and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from this channel and please take a moment to share this video with your friends thank you god bless you all